Welcome back to another Black Metal Ranking. We are ranking Gehenna. Gehenna. Um, hopefully you've said that right. It could be Gehenna. Gehenna. Don't quite know. Let me know down in the comments. Because, you know, I'm an uncultured swine. And I don't know pronunciations. But yeah, we're ranking Gehenna from my least favourite album all the way to my favourite album. Um, not in a tier list. No, we're doing it like this, just like all the other videos, because it's more fun that way. And I can't cheat by putting them all in the same category. Can't be like, they're all fucking S. Because there is actually um, an album I'm not too keen on by this band, and we'll get to that very soon. But yeah, pop your own list down below. How would you rank Gehenna's albums from your least favourite to your favourite? I am going to include the first spell as well, because I feel like it's got enough girth. You know, it's got enough juicy content to keep me satisfied all night long. So we are going to include that. And if you don't, if you think, oh, it's an EP, he never includes EPs, take off the list then. As soon as we get to that, just close your eyes, turn the video off, go have a nap, go have a wank, do whatever you need to do. And it's all juicy. So yeah, let's get started with my least favourite, which is... Murder. Murder. Murder is my least favourite album by the Gehenna. Be 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 um, as soon as I heard this album, um, after hearing the first couple, instantly threw me off. The production is way worse. Um, just the vocals sound a lot different. It sounded almost like I don't want to. I don't want to piss everyone off. It sounded kind of like an, a shitty death, like really bad death metal. Um, death core kind of bad. I don't know. It sounded like something like Creator was doing mid career with like cause of conflict um not renewal uh, yeah renewal uh, that, that's that's one uh ender arm is the gothic one it's kind of like that in this kind of they tried to go death metal and i don't think it worked on this album i really don't because the album previous was actually a nice transition into a more heavier kind of style and sound and i think it sounded better the songs were better it was just well structured, whereas murder, I just don't, I don't like it that much. Just don't like it. Instantly threw me off. Um, I just can't tell you why. Um, it's just easily my least favorite, and it's not one I'm going to play anytime soon. So murder, I'm going to murder it and put it last. So next up is Admiral and Black, which is the aforementioned album I was talking about. Um, so this came straight after Malice, our third spell. And it was a bit of a style change. I wasn't big into it, but on re-listens and re-listens, I actually think it's quite a good album. Um, a lot better than Murder. I feel like it just does all the all, all the things Murder tried to do. It just does them better. The vocals are better. The sound is better. The songs are structured better. I don't know. It just feels like a better transition, sort of like a black and deaf kind of style um, than Murder did. And for that, it is going one space higher don't think it's as good as more symphonic black stuff, the earlier stuff, but I still think it's a solid album that everyone needs to check out because yeah, it's fairly underrated. I think everyone needs to give it some time and some love. Next up is Unravel, which is the latest one. Now, a lot of people don't like this one. A lot of people have it a lot lower on the list. I know Brycey, he did a Gehenna ranking. Check it out. He had this one last. Um, for me, I like it a lot more. Um, it's a lot slower. It's a lot more methodical. It's back to the more black metal side of things. There's a lot less death metal involved in the actual music so I thought I'm going to appreciate that um I look the songs in it so goddamn good and the artwork as well the artwork drawed me in you know if it has a good artwork generally I'm going to enjoy it a bit more it's not always the case but most of the time good art equals good music and I think the music on here is fantastic and if, you know they carried on like this I'd love them all I'd love them all but yeah alas this is the last album but I think it went off on a high note because I really enjoyed this album quite a lot. Next up is WW World War. This album is furious as fuck. This is the album that Admiral Black and Murder wants to be. It's so intense. It's so furious at drumming by Frost. It's just out of this goddamn world. Furious all the way through. There is a bit of slow moments here and throughout, but most of the time it's kind of furious. It reminds me of a lot like Marduk. Um, not quite as crazy as Panzer Division, Marduk, or Nightwing, but in a similar kind of vein, a bit more atmosphere. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed this one. Um, people have this top. Pfft, I wouldn't argue. I think it's a thoroughly entertaining listen, and it's one of the best Gehenna albums 
really crazy. If you want some heavier Gehenna, this is the album to check out. This is the album for you. Coming over the top three now. Up at number three is the second spell. Oh, this album is just fucking amazing. The full title, Scene for the Veils of Darkness, is a bit of a mouthful, so we'll just go with the second spell. This is the debut album by the band, and I think it just carries on from the first spell pretty wonderfully. Touching in with those symphonic flares in with the um, the black metal, it really reminds me of Emperor. Like Gehenna, the first couple of albums really remind me of Emperor. Same kind of vocal style, same kind of keys, without not too overbearing, not like Carrick Angren or Dimmu Borgia or anything like that. But it's just subtle. It's just enough. There's a little sprinkle of symphonic just to get you, you just get your taste buds a bit wetened <laughs> for the for the main course. I I think this album's phenomenal um i feel like it, it is a classic in the genre if you don't know if you know black metal you've probably seen this album if you know black metal you've definitely heard this album come on and if you've not what are you doing with your life stop this video and go listen to it masterpiece from start to finish so many cool passages so many good melodies but it's not my favorite it is not my favorite coming in at number two and the last full length album on this list we have malice our third spell Oh boy, this is just fucking phenomenal. You've definitely seen this album cover. Of the fucking Nature Ladies and the <laughs> cool pattern. I think this takes everything from the second spell and just improves it in every way. Um, just production's better, songwriting's better, just... Oh, I don't know, there's something about this album. It is my favourite full-length album by the band. I just think they improved in it on every single way. Um, it's catchy as hell. It manages to be catchy, but also still retain the kind of evil atmosphere they're known for, still pumping you with that symphonic fucking juice, pumping you right in the ass with that symphonic juice, and you love it, you fucking love it, you degenerate little fucks, and I love it too, um, there's nothing bad to say about this album, it is one of the best black metal albums around when it came out, and I should have listened to it a lot earlier, no, I should have listened to it a lot fucking early, but I didn't, we listened to it quite a bit later in um, my black metal history, yeah, I'm glad I did, and it is coming here at number two, which means there's only one number one, and it happens to be, you know, it happens to be the first spell. Of course it is. Of course it fucking is. A lot shorter than some of the other albums, um, but the atmosphere, the mood, I wouldn't have it any longer. Perfect length, perfect track listing, perfect atmosphere, perfect songs, perfect everything. Like, this album is just... A masterpiece in black metal. I loved it. I love it. Uh, and if you think it's cheating, just cut it off and say that the third spell is my favourite full length. But for real, like my favourite actual release by the band is the first spell. It just it just has everything. It has that extra dash of magic that the others don't. And it's like around the same time as like the golden era of black metal. Really underrated band. Do you think for fans of Emperor, if you liked Emperor, you'll definitely like Gehenna, that kind of style. Sounds very similar as well. But yeah, the first spell just has that extra magic, which makes me like it more. So that is my ranking for Gehenna. Please check out every single album. You might like Murder more. Just because it's last on my list doesn't mean you'll hate it as well. But yeah, I pretty much like every single Gehenna album aside from Murder. So very consistent discography. Love it. And I de you definitely check out the spells. First, second, and third. I think they are just phenomenal top tier black metal albums. So go give them a listen. Go give them some love. So that's my ranking for Gehenna. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Pop your own down below. And what else you want me to rank? We are doing Miguel, um soon. Miguel's a hard one. They don't have a lot of albums, but it's really hard for me to place them. So it's taking me a bit longer, which is why I'm doing this one first. Because it was a bit easier to differentiate between the albums. Whereas Miguel, I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know which one's going to be top. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. Hopefully you had fun and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.